salimiani karibu mheshimiwa pasari Asante asante your excellency Dr William Samoy Ruto all protocols observed your excellency allow me to congratulate you for being the president of this great republic of Kenya uh, you were not my presidential candidate but now you are my president when we met in uh, mukuru you asked us parliament to be wary of what you want to do for the people of this great country of Kenya in terms of housing to put dignity back into their lives and you said you would be bringing a bill for the housing fund we are waiting anxiously for it because we want our citizens to live with dignity we want to eliminate slums in this great country of Kenya your excellency i recently read in the paper that nairobi is going to have a population of 10 million by 2050 10 million by 2050 for me i feel we really need to also guard our population there is no country that doesn't plan its population that can give wealth to its citizens i really want to appeal to you your excellency to look into commodities for our women to look into gender based violence and give us more money nairobi thanks to the governor is going to have the first sexual gender based safe house we've already we're ready to do the ground breaking we're just waiting for the cs but having said all this your excellency i want to also recognize that the father of slum upgrading is none other than raila amolo odinga and for that for that i want to say thank you because a good leader takes every good project that is there and i know you're going to look into housing you're going to look into food security you're looking into water in this city of mine nairobi there are women who trade their bodies for water i was talking to the governor about it so we have a lot of work to do what i want to say we will join hands with you we will give you support so that we can serve the great country that we call kenya god bless kenya god bless you your excellency thank you asante sana mheshimiwa pasaris asante sana thank you so much for being here and thank you for the maturity you show in your politics pamoja na jalas kuna wale wanafikiri bado tuko kwa siasa siasa iliisha rais ni mmoja governor ni mmoja wananchi ni hao na ni wetu tunawafanyia kazi si ni kweli mheshimiwa pia tuko na mheshimiwa Ronald Karauri kutoka Kasarani ndio huyo acha apungie wananchi hewa e, mkono radha tuko na mheshimiwa wa Major Donk kutoka Embakasi Central ambaye pia yako na sisi nimeona baba yao waititu ambaye pia ni mtu wa Kibra pia Simon Mbugwa ambaye alikuwa mbunge wa Starehe. Your Excellency bila kupoteza wakati. Um, na kama kuna wale nimesahau poleni. Nani? Oh, ulikuwa umemtaja. Tuko na mheshimiwa Mwalimu Orero kutoka hapa Kibra. Jalasu ulikuwa umemtaja. Tuko na Mariga. Ambaye yako hapa. Asante sana. Mheshimiwa Rais. Wananchi. Sote tuko hapa na tuko pamoja. Allow me to mention just two three things that are very important to these people. Your Excellency jambo la kwanza. Asante kwa kufikiria mambo ya hadhi. Dignity ya mwananchi wa kawaida. Na Your Excellency umetuonesha njia. Hao wananchi ndio walitunusuru. Hao ndio walibaki na sisi. Na sisi tumesema hatutawasahau. Wananchi wa kawaida wa Nairobi na wa Kenya. Na mimi nawahimiza wale pia kwa serikali ya kaunti. Kwa kila kitu ambao tunafanya tufikirie hao wananchi wa kawaida kila siku. Yule mwananchi 
ambaye amekaa kwa kitongoji ambaye amekaa kwa slum he is as kenyan as ule mwananchi ambaye yako lavington ambaye yako karen lazima tumfikirie mwananchi wa kawaida na excellency wewe ndio umetuonesha kwa mfano wako na kwa mtindo wako and for that is on excellency kwa project kama hii otanda otanda tulieni eh otanda nimemuona tunamjua eh tulieni hawa vijana tunawajua wote excellency ni vijana wako na wanakupenda ya excellency tumesema kama county government siku za mwananchi wa kawaida kudharauliwa Nairobi zimeisha na tulisema ya kwamba kwa mipango yetu yote kutoka housing ambapo tumesupport kwa mfano hapa niliandikia PS tarehe 19 alikuwa ameniandikia kutoa approval ya hii kazi ianze without all of those technical uh, steps pia ile restriction ya kwenda juu wanasema usipite one, a certain height tumetoa hiyo approval na pia waweze kuanza kazi kabla ya kuupload title deed ambayo tunatafuta tumetoa hizo approval but tumesema ya kwamba kwa mfano jana na juzi tumekuwa tukiangalia budget ya Nairobi County Your Excellency niliona walikuwa wamenekea 500 million shillings atukujenga nyumba ya governor na deputy governor ni mambo watoe hiyo pesa tujengea watu masoko tujengea wananchi wa Nairobi mali ya kufanya kazi kwa sababu hapo hapo ndio watu wetu wako si mimi kuna mali naishi tayari sasa jameni nusu bilioni kujengea governor nyumba akina mama hao wanahangaika vijana wetu wanahangaika hawana kazi so nimeleza watu wangu kwa county na najua pia kwa national government wamejua focus yetu iko kwa mwananchi wa kawaida tuangalie mwananchi wa kawaida kwanza sisi tujipange huko mbele si kweli jambo la pili na nimekubaliana na mheshimiwa e, Jalas mheshimiwa Jalas ambaye ni ndugu yangu sana na tulikuwa wasanii pamoja tumesema ya kwamba ile tivet your excellency ambayo ilikuwa inaendelea inaendelea hapo madaraka na wewe ndio ulizindua tumalize ili vijana wetu waweze kupata training hapo ndani kwa tivet na najua hatu wa mbili tatu tivet itakuwa imeisha on top of that kuna vocational center ambayo tumeaward hapa hapa airas na mheshimiwa wetu Oyugi amesukuma nimehakisha imekuwa awarded ili vijana wetu tusome tusikae mtaani tu tunataka kutoka kwa dimanga hiyo dimanga utatoka bila kulambuku bana sawa sawa tukiwafungulia tv tukiwafungulia hii vocational training go there get educated hata kama ni studio ya mtaa enda hapo ujaribu usani yako ukikaa tu mtaani ungoje jalas ama mwalimu orero akupatie za macho ama mariga hatutaenda mahali sawa sawa so excellency nimefurahi kwamba tumesema hata ile kazi itafanywa hapa na nimefurahi huyu contractor wetu ambaye anaitwa Gelot yeye pia ndo alifanya hii high rise ya kitambo hii yeye ndo alifanya vijana wa hapa wafanye kazi wa mama wazi wapatiwe nafasi katika mpango huo excellency nikimalizia tumesema ya kwamba na nimesikia shiro anasema ati watu wasilipe rates tafadhali wananchi wangu hii rates lazima tulipe ili niwafanyie kazi ili niwaletee maji ili tuwajengee manyumba ili niwatengenezee mabarabara lazima tulipe rates na hiyo rates tumesema Nairobi hii na mifurahi excellence ulinisaidia tukazungumza na chief justice amenisaidia ku set up valuation court juko na new valuation rule rates Nairobi watu watakuwa nalipa mwezi kwa mwezi monthly instead of kulipa ati mwaka mmoja pesa mingi tulipe pole pole mzee kibaki alikuwa anatuambia kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea sawa sawa ili tujenge mji wetu wa Nairobi thank you very much uh, your excellency um gani nyingine kazi mtaani <laughs> your excellency wakati wakati ambapo tulikuwa na kazi mtaani i can tell you for sure your excellency the crime rate in langata in kibra went down by 47% ilishuka na 47 
na kuomba na nimeona mheshimiwa Hinga PS Hinga ndo alikuwa brain child alifanya na wewe hii kazi mtaani tukishirikiana county government na serikali yako let us give our people hope tuwapa nafasi vijana wetu wafanye kazi na kina mama walikuwa wanapika hiyo kazi ilikuwa inaendelea mzuri mimi kama governor nimesema tutaandika vijana wetu waingie kanjo ili kusaidia na mambo ya usafi so mtulie tumtulie hao MCAs wako hapa walipitishie budget ninaandika kila ward vijana ambao watafanya kazi na pia tutapata na hiyo mambo ya kazi mtaani your excellency thank you so much um, for, for 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 the support that you have given us finally wafanya kazi tools tunaita common user facility ili unakuja hapo unapiga randa yako unaka moyo ni seremalo unafanya kazi na usiku unapata kitu ya kupeleka nyumbani thank you so much your excellency for this allow me at this stage um, to invite the cabinet secretary um, uh, and actually actually before the ps your excellency i forgot to recognize our, our good friend the former member of parliament for langata ambaye anaitwa generali ambaye yeye pia anafanya kazi for now yeye ni deputy mp assistant wa jalas wanafanya pamoja lakini your excellency na kuomba kwa niaba ya watu wa Nairobi najua hujamaliza kuunda serikali angalia huyo Nixon vizuri pia asonge songe aingie kwa serikali yako asante sana Asante sana mheshimiwa rais Before I speak let me invite uh, Tom Olwa who was the chairman or who is the chairman of the task force which was looking at affordable housing he is actually one of the key people in the pension space uh, Tom Olwa please karibu Your excellency the president Dr William Samoe Ruto, the President of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief, our Cabinet Secretary is President, the Governor, our protocols observed. Bwana Rais, Kenya sisi tunajulikana sana kwa mambo mengi duniani. Tunajulikana kwa mbio, tunajulikana kwa ukarimu, tunajulikana sana kwa Mpesa lakini hii muradi ya affordable housing bwana rais ndio mambo yote your excellency tunajua ya kwamba si tu nyumba hii ndio ile muradi itabadilisha maisha kabisa kwa sababu inaleta employment kwa watu wote wa Kenya hii rais wewe ulitoa ufisadi wako ukatushahidi uka